Hello and a warm welcome to South Wales. It's always a pleasure to broadcast from the Cardiff City Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Cardiff City and they take on Coventry City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. Flint. Number three, well, real excitement Flint here, I say that, because it is his long-awaited debut Lee coming up. Lee what should we be looking for from him, Lee? Well, end product, Derek, his job, like any winger, is to supply both crosses and goals. Be brave. That means taking the ball in all sorts of situations. I think we're going to see that today. Big day for him. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And so the match is underway. Going well. Well, for Cardiff City, a case of trying to bounce back after a defeat last time out against Norwich City. How do you think this will go, Lee? Well, last time out, losing 3-0 gave the coach a few headaches. But with all that training work done this week, I'm going to predict a win for them today. Well, an attacker like that in the initial phase of the game, attracting the interest of the referee. So early in this game, and the referee not really hesitating. A yellow card it is, and that could make it difficult for player and official. Well, it changes the complexion of your game, the way you play your match, especially if you're a defender. You start thinking about the challenges instead of executing them. And he read it well, intercepting it. It's opening up for them. An alert piece of defending. Space afforded him. Dabo. Ball played nicely. Dangerous ball. High class goalkeeping. Perfect positioning. Really top class goalkeeping. Brilliant save. Over it comes. It looked as So he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's okay shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. And time for the change now. To be replaced by number 11, Josh Murphy. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Well, great read there to intercept. And news coming through of a goal in the Millwall match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. 22 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And intercepts again. Rawls. It's with Josh Murphy. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And firing it into the area. It comes to absolutely nothing. Now, let's see what they can do here. Tremendous ball played through. And they could do damage. A chance now with the corner. Played into the centre of the box. Well, thumped clear. Murphy, on the ball, Joe Rawls. Surely, 
And somehow he prevents a goal. Well, it looked a certain goal, Derek. The agility, the reflex is unbelievable. So the corner played into the box. McFadden. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Well, I can tell you there's been a goal in the match at the Vitality Stadium. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 37 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. Dabo. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Able to get his body in the way. It did look on for them, but not to be. Dabo. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Bakuna. So the half-time whistle, and the two teams have just about matched each other stride for stride. Lee, what have you made of our hosts? Well, Derek, with their inability to be able to put them... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Alan. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, Real Madrid have been very busy on the transfer front. They've assessed their target, Lee, and they've got him. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £75 million. That's the type of money you have to pay for... And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. And news coming through of a goal in the Millwall match. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Millwall. 55 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Good pass. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. The opening goal of the game then. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. So making the substitution now. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Getting news of a goal in the Watford game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Barnsley. 64 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Cardiff City facing Bristol City. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though well, hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Foiling them effectively. This is the message for away supporters. At full time, can you please Dabo. remember where you are and your coach will meet you outside. And the providing stand. width. Thank you. Liam Kelly. Todd Cantwell. 
in with a chance. It could be up for grabs. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. What can they do from here? Dabo. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Just looking ahead to another game coming up for you from the Championship, live on EA TV. It's Coventry City facing Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast-flowing football there. Dabo. It is to be a throw-in. McFadden. Kelly. Oh, that's a fine pass. This looks promising. Can he finish? And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. So the corner played into the box. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide. And news of a goal in the Bournemouth match. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a second goal for Bournemouth. Five minutes remain. 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. And just the one minute left in normal time here. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Matt Godden. And in with a real chance. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Played into the centre of the box. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned, Lee. Well, the body language is there for all to see. Fine lines between success and failure in this game we all love. Not today for them, but I'm sure they'll bounce back next time out. 